Hi, my name is Octai. Welcome to today's video about the LK99 superconductor. This is a nice picture of the superconductor. It was invented by Sukpa Lee, Ji Ho, and Kim, Yang Wan Kwon. B and Kim, the first letters of the last names, uh, gave the other initials of uh, LK99. 99 is the year of the discovery. Uh, this is a lead appetite doped with uh, copper ions. Uh, there's a big group of appetite uh, compounds. Uh, one of these compounds is hydroxyapatite. It's the mineral in bones and teeth. This is the formula of LK99, uh, lead copper phosphate oxide. X is important. It has to be between 0 0.9 and 1.1, uh, so about 10%. This is a non-stoichiometric compound. The critical temperature, according to the scientists, is above 127 degrees Celsius, and all these elements are cheap. That's a big advantage. Uh, according to scientists, this uh, LK99 is a superconductor at room temperature and ambient pressure 1 uh, bar. This is the synthesis of LK99. Um, first step is the synthesis of lanarkite at uh, 725 degrees Celsius from uh, lead oxide and lead sulfate. Second is uh, copper phosphide synthesis from the elements. Third is the synthesis of lanarkite uh, from, lana from of LK99 from lanarkite, uh, copper phosphide and oxygen. In a redox reaction in a vacuum tube, this gives you LK99 and byproduct is sulfur. This is a sample of LK99 floating over a magnet at a room temperature 1 bar. This looks like the Meissner Oxenfeld effect, um, which is the expulsion of a magnetic field, a superconductor once the temperature is below the critical temperature. This is the structure of LK99. It's a modified lead appetite. It has an inner and outer lead column of lead ions. And the doping with uh, copper causes a volume reduction by 0.48%. Um, there was a theoretical work. It predicted that the uh, oxide um, ions in the middle uh, prefer a maximum distance from the copper ions, uh, which replace, uh, partially replace the outer uh, lead ions. There's another picture of the structure from above. Um, you can see the volume shrinkage caused by the smaller copper ions that substitute the outer lead ions partially. Um, this causes a shrink shrinkage, a uh, stress, and this produces quantum wells, and this makes LK99 a superconductor. This is our new work of uh, Cabezas, Escares, Barrera, Cardenas, Munoz from Chile. It shows the sublattice in LK99. In this picture, you can only see the lead, uh, lead ions and the copper ions. Uh, the different categories of the lead ions are in uh, green and gray, and in yellow are the copper ions. Um, they're actually smaller, but in this picture, they are uh, uh, shown as uh, bigger ions, um, just uh, for better understanding. Um, the, this is a view of the unit cell, and uh, you can see there are um, two, two theoretical possibilities, a triangular sublattice and a hexagonal sublattice at the right. And according to these scientists from Chile, um, this triangular sublattice is a bit more stable than hexagonal at the right. This is a picture of the bands of the LK99. This is at the left. Uh, lead appetite is at the right. It's an insulator. There are two bands at the Fermi level. Uh, Fermi level is a thermodynamic work required to add a one electron. Um, the d orbitals of the copper ions are uh, important. They correspond to the flat bands. And uh, their model shows uh, that there is no covalent bonding of copper. This is a nice picture of a phonon. A phonon is a quantized sound wave. In this picture, lambda is the wavelength length of the sound wave. And there's a calculation that's called a frozen phonon calculation, which shows that there's an electron phonon coupling, and this is very important for conductivity. And this is an animation of Cooper pairs uh, of electrons. Um, this is an electron ion interaction that causes this pairing. Um, once the first electron uh, approaches these ions, cations, and uh, they come together, now you have a higher density, and this attracts the second electron, and that makes the Cooper pair. Uh, what's special about the Cooper pair is it can travel uh, through the structure without loss of energy. However, this uh, pairing energy is very weak, and that's why there's no superconductivity above the critical temperature. 
is an image of an X-ray uh, diffraction. There is another paper from uh, Yang Hu, Wei Wei, Jin Chu, Yu Sun, Xi Xiang, Xi from China. And they managed to make a polycrystalline sample of LK99 and they confirmed the structure. And they confirmed that it is uh, superconductive above 100 Kelvin, which is minus 173 Celsius. However, uh, is LK99 a superconductor uh, with a critical temperature above 127 degrees Celsius? This question is still open. This is another work from uh, Baskaran in uh, Canada. And according to this scientist, um, the superconductivity of LK99 is uh, based on non dimerized copper zero chains. Copper zero means copper atoms, not copper ions. Oxidation state is uh, zero. And uh, in their paper, they refer to co copper two CO2 molecules, which were detected in space, as an example. And according to this work, um, the superconductivity of LK99 is uh, based on nanoscale 2D patches of these copper zero atoms that contribute, uh, these contribute to the superconductivity of LK99. This is uh, another work of, of Hao Wu, Li Yang, Yi Sheng Xiao, Kai Xing Chang from China. Uh, they managed also uh, the synthesis of LK99 and they were able to confirm the Meissner levitation at room temperature of uh, LK99. This is a picture of a nanoporous uh, synth film. Um, there's another work uh, from Abramian, Kuzanian, Niko Goshian, Techno Yodo, Yoyo, and uh, Gulian from USA. Uh, they produced uh, bad films of various thickness on sapphire. And um, they showed that there is a low temperature superconductivity, uh, which is caused by electron hopping between superconducting uh, nano islands via microscopic quantum tunneling. And according to their work, um, they think that LK99 is a heterophase of polycrystals and amorphous, an amorphous phase. Uh, this is a nice short clip of uh, the maglev train in Shanghai on its 30 km route uh, at a maximum speed of 430 km per hour. And you will see um, fast cars on the motorway and you will see what happens uh, when this train has its uh, highest velocity. Uh, this is a great example of German engineering. Uh, the fast train makes the uh, cars on the freeway look like they are standing, uh, right? And that was today's video about LK99 Superconductor. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.